okay uh, hello guys i hope you all are doing great during this lockdown and i hope all you are all learning something new because uh, sadly the recession is coming and the economic is going to be worse for around five six years maybe in developing countries and two three years in developed countries so why not to scale up uh, ourselves in doing something great and so that we will not be a victim of recession as well as economic depression so uh, i found the uh, Competitive coding, which is a very interesting topic that we I need to share with each and everyone who is either a computer science graduate or non computer science graduate. Why com competitive coding is a must have skill in this 21st century for engineer of computer science and for other as well. So while talking about uh, the requirement of different top tech companies like Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Apple, uh, Oracle, Cisco, ADC, as well as non uh, top technical companies like Goldman Sachs, Bloomberg, uh, Morgan Stanley, Tower Research and other as well, Yandex is there and other as well. They basically search for a person who has good logical thinking capabilities and who can solve a problem in an efficient time using different uh, problem solving skills. So problem solving skills for computer science graduates basically depends upon like uh, you have been given with a problem and you have to find out those uh, solutions uh, for that problem and you have to write that code for it and uh, the main thing uh, that a computer science graduate should uh, look upon in a every bit of line uh, every line of code they write is it should be bogless it should be fast and it should contain uh, it should contain less space so this uh, three lines is the main goal of computer science graduate who are uh, who gets revolved around it so let me let me take uh, you to the different skill set which computer science and non-computer science student need to have to get in those top mncs and have a life uh, much more better and they can enjoy working over there as well so while talking about different computer science student like either they belongs to engineering or bachelor of communication science bachelor of computer science and it and bit or different non csc engineer like electronics um, mechanical engineering civil engineering and there are other uh, it as well and other computer science graduates um, they basically revolves around learning something which are very much common common to each other like uh, most of them are having data structure in their course they have os database management system operating uh, networking they have some debugging uh, courses as well and to some extent they might uh, might be having some system designing like architecture or cod which is called as computer science and architecture uh, these are some basic subject which each and every student from different backgrounds of computer science learn so and they uh, these are the things which are common but coding skill is not common coding skill is something that a student develop while solving different problems on different platforms uh, and while talking about non csc who wants to be uh, who wants to take a part uh, in some top mncs uh, in a technical role they need to have uh, a good understanding of data structure logical skills and computer science knowledge because they are being uh, hired for a technical roles and i think they must be having those kind of skills uh, these are uh, some of the skills like uh, this coding skills data structure are something that uh, everyone should be knowing and everyone should excel at in order to get uh, their life better and and to be in a better position there is very commonly uh, correlated word which is programming and com coding so what is the difference between coding and programming the major difference between coding and programming is that coding is different dif basically involves problem solving we have been given with a problem which is twisted uh, might be a real world or might not be a real world and we need to find out the optimal solution uh, out which can satisfy the given problem while programming is basically building a real life applications like we can build a website for a hotel managers who can put their hotels in that website in a travel agency or like that we can take mobile application machine learning applications similarly coding is basically a practicing of mental exercise it is like gaming gaming of brain where your brain get 
to build the logics uh, how to connect those dots to solve that problem and similarly programming is basically use of computer science concept oops and other uh, development tools to build that website or something uh, which is real world product so when person is involved in the coding they basically gets to learn about uh, how to have a great logical building capacity how to solve problem how to approach them how to minimize the bugs as well as how to make that computer operate enough as fast as they can uh, through the algorithms how to use the best algorithm best algos uh, for the given uh, for the given problems while development uh, i'm not sure whether uh, yeah this is implemented but uh, most of the time uh, the codes are reused as well as because um, there is a graph uh, in which the different codes are used to build up a similar kind of products it is damn sure that a uh, good coder is always a good programmer but uh, opposite is uh, might be not true while uh, why coding is important because coding is important because most of the top tech countries which pay you more than six figures like which pay you six figure salary ha wants to have your brain so much trained that if they want you to shift to java then they can shift you within a two or three months rather than investing uh, you a lot of uh, uh, technical tools which you are not familiar with what is, what why it is uh, an important skills which uh, pay us uh, six figure salaries uh, it is important because uh, while practicing coding what we develop is that we develop the logics uh, to solve those problems thereby when a different uh, tools is uh, implemented upon us for example if we are doing c plus um, plus uh, if we are using c plus plus for competitive coding and if uh, we are being told that you have to learn python to develop this app the internal functioning of every lines of code is same the only different is uh, difference is the syntax here we use c out in python we use print that is the only difference so if we have a better logical understanding it is very easy uh, to learn any language or any tools while talking about different programming languages which are used most widely by competitive coders c++ it is old it is very fast it is very fast due to which different operating systems are designed upon computer c++ like even microsoft is designed on c++ uh, different um, different uh, languages like java javascript uh, and all other languages are little bit uh, they are like uh, the children or they are like the better version of c++ and c++ is the superset of c which is the old language so c++ is literally used it is very fast it is easy to code support great libraries as well as data structure and it reflects different uh, in-depth understanding of code for example when we are using python let me take a python implementation uh, and if you want to use linked list uh, for example then there is a library which can be imported uh, which will do almost every kind of work for you so it is good it is doing uh, almost every work for us but what if uh, we have to go in depth on how that linked list is working what are the nodes what are heads what are still how they are connected with each other, each other how the pointers are working with each other that is not quite dynamic when it comes to developing language and python is a developer development language let me say java is also most popular because it has got some good libraries like a big integer library uh, which is one of the best libraries uh, among other as well which will support a number of any size in java which is uh, quite not uh, aptical uh, quite not easily accepted by c plus plus Python is dynamic, easy to code, simple line of codes, very efficient, but it is for slow. Other language uh, like C is old school language, which is still used. It is very fast, <laughs> but uh, but C++ is a super set of C, which implement OOPS concept as well. So most of the people jump towards C. So these, uh, these are a little bit understanding of what is competitive coding. Let me take you to the platform where we can practice competitive coding according to our skill set. So first of all, this one is a hacker rank where you can choose any language. You can choose uh, any section of a competitive coding or programming and you can do, for example, you have to, if you want to learn data structure, you learn array and you can solve the questions of array every and you will have a better understanding of how problems are approached. 
similarly hacker earth is uh, equally famous but it is basically famous when when it comes to uh, participating in different uh, hackathons as well as practicing problem as well you can go here and you can practice different kind of problems as well okay and let me talk uh, talk about code forces which is one of the best uh, competitive coding platform and this guy is an international grandmaster i was looking through his webs uh, like profile uh, where you can go in gym where you can literally participate in any uh, past contest and you can practice the questions you can go to problem set you can choose uh, the level of prob questions you can even go and you can choose your level of difficulty and according to it it will provide you the number of uh, questions and you can solve it it is one of the best website and after that if you want to be like five star five six star three star in code for code safe then you can be a part of this you can uh, compete in different uh, challenges basically three challenges in every month and you can practice different question on the basis of your uh, learning curve so i think uh, this is a little bit uh, introduction to competitive code coding and it is very important i hope uh, you got it clear if uh, there is any kind of uh, uh, error inside it uh, in my video then i would be appreciated if i get some advice thank you very much